Okay, the uh, Lugnut Torque Spec. This is a uh, 2023 a Dodge Challenger Hellcat Lugnut, uh, Lugnut Torque Spec. On this is 111 foot-pounds. So you're going to need a very large uh, torque wrench, something like this. This is a half-inch drive. Craftsman Torque Wrench, digital. It doesn't have to be digital. If you're going to buy a torque wrench, I'll put a couple links uh, to some good torque wrenches uh, in the description of the video that you can pick up on Amazon. The Craftsman. There's also Tecton, which is made in USA. It's very, very good. It's actually higher quality than... Um, Craftsman and it competes, you know, directly with like Snap-on and Mac, for example, but it's cheaper than Snap-on and Mac. 22 millimeter uh, impact socket. So we got the 22 millimeter impact socket. I'll put a link to that as well. Uh, you do not want to use a 12 point socket, okay? Uh, you want to use a 6 point socket. If you use a 12, you're probably going to strip your lugs or ruin the socket. And you, you want to take a piece of 3M painter's tape and just put it around your socket. And if you have, um, you know, locking uh, lug nuts, then also put a piece of blue, uh, blue 3M painter's tape on there as well. And that's just to protect uh, your rim. Um, so what you'll do, basically, when you're putting this, this wheel back on, right, is obviously be very careful because the calipers, right, they're, they sit so close to the rim. So when you lift this wheel up, um, you just really have to be careful that you don't smack your calipers uh, with the rim so be careful there and then you want to kind of put all of these on my, my recommendation is to put them all by on by hand you can just use this and just spin them in by hand and then you'll set your torque wrench to half of the 111 foot pounds so about 55 foot pounds you'll torque all of these down in a star pattern so you'll start right here and then here and then here and then here and then here all to 55 foot pounds Okay, then you come back around and you do and you set your torque wrench to 111 foot pounds and you finish it off. So you, you, you'll do, you know, you'll start here and then you'll go here, 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 here at, at the 111. Uh, why is that important? That's important um, so that that rim sits perfectly flat against the hub of the disc. If the rim doesn't sit perfectly flat, uh, you're going to get wobble, you're going to have alignment issues, you're going to have weird noises coming when you're braking. Um, the other thing that's super, super important, especially on these cars, especially on these cars, is you have to clean the back side of the rim, okay? And you have to clean the front side of this black uh, disc holder here, this thing that holds the disc, um, so that there's no debris or dirt or sand or grit or anything between the rim and the disc. That has to be super clean. Um, if you have any kind of gap there or any kind of debris, you're going to get some really weird noises coming uh, when you're braking. A lot of people on the internet are complaining about that, um, but that is the solution to solve that problem. And then my, my last recommendation is before you put on uh, your lug nuts, you take a little bit of uh, synthetic caliper grease or like white uh, lithium grease and you put it just on... Uh, the side just on the side there like you can see um that comes in contact with the rim so right here on this lip kind of all the way around that lip and that helps these things to seat into the aluminum or magnesium rim or whatever you have very very nicely uh, without damaging the rim uh, they also don't get stuck when you're trying to remove them just do not put any kind of grease or anything on the threads okay not on the threads okay um, so that's my recommendation there and I'll put a link to, uh, the synthetic caliper grease or white lithium grease as well, uh, in, in the, uh, in the description of the video. Um, but that's, yeah, that's, the, that's the technique there and, uh, 32 PSI on these tires all around. Um, I'll put a link to, if you don't have a good, uh, you know, uh, tire pressure gauge. I'll put one uh, link to two Milton uh, tire pressure gauges that are really good as well in the description. All right, guys. Catch you later.